Hey YouTube, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to turn, oh my gosh, where are all these join requests coming from? Right, I'm going to show you how to turn objects into logic. Um, I think Fatty Macintosh has a, um, an example right here. If do you have one in your poppet, we can show an example of. Actually, I do. Hold on. All right. So, by turning it into logic, we seriously mean turning it into logic. Like you can place it and move it like this. <laughs> Um, it doesn't stay, like, if you pause and unpause and undo and stuff, and it'll convert back to a normal one, but, um, it's, it's pretty interesting. Alright, so, we're gonna show you how to do this right now. After he finishes typing real quick. Yeah, um, I did this with a material, so that's why it reverted back. So if I, if I did it with a uh, golf ball or something, then it will, uh, it would stay. Alright, so I'm going to go to the level that you need to get the tool from. Um, I'm going to put, I'm going to put the link to this level, uh, in the description. And I already queued it, so I can go ahead and go and play it. Alright. Let this level load. Alright, so this glitch, uh, turning it, uh, objects into logic, was found by Fatty Macintosh. Um, and the tool in order to do the glitch was found by JimmyJ75. Alright, so this is just a tutorial for it, but you're watching the video tutorial, so, uh, yeah. Alright, uh, I forgot to delete them, but, um, all of the, the three logic work the same. They work sort of as objects, even though they're logic, like, you can place them just in air. It doesn't matter if they're on a material, and that's the special kind of thing you need. So you get those three different ones here. And, yeah, I'm just gonna, just gonna go and finish right here. We... And this is just a written tutorial for, uh, yeah. Alright. Alright, so in order to do the glitch, what you're going to have to do is go to your moon. Sorry for the loading screens. Alright, go to your moon. Uh, we have everything just sort of set up in this level right here. Uh, this is the microchip you get for the written tutorial. Um, it's not required to have it out for the glitch, it's just 
written for clarity. Um, these are the three objects you get. This one was found by Fatty McIntosh, and so is the note. And Jimmy J75 found the original emitter that acts like this. All right, um, I'm gonna use the original emitter for this one because it. Uh, I don't know. I just like to use the emitter. So take it out. After you got it in the level, it'll be in your community objects. Um, for the emitter, you're just gonna have to edit it and go and change the max emitted to zero. And after this, you can save it again, so you don't have to keep doing that whenever you place it. Um, all you do is take out uh, a material or an object. I'm gonna use a rubber band ball for this tutorial. Have a friend or a second controller hold R2 and while well, keep holding R2 select the emitter and then the object. And then you copy by holding R2 and selecting the emitter copy the emitter. And now basically what another player holding it does if a player holds two different objects and you copy it then those two objects will be glued. Uh, so like if I were if you were to hold two if you were to hold two um, two pieces of cardboard and I captured it then they will be glued together. Alright now you just take out a uh, a different material or object The second controller or the second player selects the box first, and then the emitter, and then they uh, select it. And then you capture only the box. And then you pull it out again. And finally, if you detach the... Uh, emitter or whatever logic you chose, the object will be glued to it and will be a part of the logic. If you want it, if you want the uh, material or whatever to actually be in the center, then you're just gonna have to, in the first step, just move this behind it and select this and then unhide and select it so yeah as you can see putting it anywhere it can be in 3d and sideways and diagonal whatever you want and then yeah you can detach it and it'll be exactly like that so this is sort of another twist glitch. It is incredibly accurate if you use it as a twist glitch because it's like either perfectly on the side of a block or whatever you want to do. And um, yeah. And now, now we're going to show you sort of an extreme case of what you're gonna you could be able to do with this. So, and this time I'm just going to show using different logic, so I'm going to use the uh, note. And also, uh, if I were to pause and unpause, if I were to pause and unpause on the ball, it will stay. And undo and stuff, it'll stay, unlike the material. But, um, just something really quick, if, if you do use a material, then, um, if you do use a material, place it first, straight, and then highlight the middle, or wherever the logic is, and then move it, because if you don't, then, uh, it'll end up kind of wonky. 
but if you select it and detach the material, until you unpause and undo and stuff, it does actually retain its shape. So you can do kind of some crazy stuff like this. But uh, yeah, again, like if you save it or undo or whatever, it will not stay. So if I do this, then it'll just be a uh, normal material. It'll have some lighting bugs though. So it's it's like using the twist glitch. All right. Um. All right, fatty, take out um some uh, story objects kind of here. Uh, right now, he is going to take out a, um, if he has it, he's going to take out an actual section of story mode from the god glitch from the Little Big Planet 2 beta that doesn't exist right now. But uh, this was captured in the beta. And uh, we're going to turn this entire thing into logic. Like that. <laughs> Alright, so do you have an original piece? And we're going to use this note. Alright. Alright, there we go. You can see the note there. So, this time I'm going to hold the stuff, so you, if you're the second controller, you hold R2, select the logic, and highlight whatever you're doing, and then let go of R2, and then the other player, or you, captures the logic itself. I'll delete it for lag's sake. And then he'll pull it out, and I pull out some kind of other thing. Also, uh, just one quick thing. It's probably you already noticed it, but, uh,. If you are to, um, if you're to pull out one of these logics, it does give you visible pop-it glitch that I did a video on earlier. Alright, so select the box or whatever and select the logic and then he copies just the box. Okay. Now, finally, I'm going to put something for him to place it on. And now, if you take this off, then you can place it on other things at any angle. So, <laughs> and you can take it off and twist it and detach it and make it 3D. Remind you of Little Big Planet carding. Glitch around in it. <laughs> I actually get stuck in here a lot, so I just have to sort of fly out. You can see the back of things too. So like as you can see kind of up there, uh, it's invisible. Whoa, what the heck's going on here? <laughs> oh yeah, and also, since it's logic now, you can put it on to um, sequencers, and you'll be able to do this really cool thing where you can just extend it. 
keep getting stuck in here. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, so we used use the note so we can't do it with the note but you can do it with the emitter and the um, and the uh, anti-gravity tweaker because you can't extend the note <laughs> as you can see it does this uh, crazy whatever is going on here I'm not sure exactly how stable this is. Uh, did you test it out and do you know if it's stable or not? Like you can close the microchip and stuff? Okay, so it's not perfectly stable, but uh, you can test around with uh, whatever you want to test around with. Yeah, sequencers are fine, but uh, don't do it on microchips because that will freeze. Yeah. That was the uh, turn objects into, into logic glitch found by Fatty Macintosh. Hope you enjoyed the glitch. My name is Glitchmaster7. Uh, goodbye.